Well, hello there. Here we are again for another fine video. We have a nice Raven printer, old school printer, really old school. It's got black ribbon. It's like tight rider ribbon. Black ribbon, definitely old school. It's missing the, the back piece and top piece there. It says Raven Printer, uh, made in Japan. Uh, do not open, shock hazard. Oh. No usable parts, refer to qualified service person now. Do not remove screws. Well, darn it. That's not good. But anyhow, get with that. But first, let's get some beans going here in this here pot. Mm -mm -mm. We got some lima beans. I'm going to go all out. Instead of making the one bag tonight, I'm going to make two bags. Pour these here nice lima beans in our pot. Uh, some of you may recognize this pot, eh? Oop, there's one left in there. Come on, guys. Come on out of there. Can't even leave not one. Not lima beans. Oh, my goodness gracious. They so good. I could just live off the of lima beans. Might get tired eventually, but I don't know when. Mm -mm -mm. Second one, well, I can have some tomorrow too, yeah, get them out of there. Look at that, lima beans. Uh, per half a cup, 110 calories, 18% of your fiber, 10 iron, 9 potassium, and not much more other things, but I'm not so sure about that. Okay. So we got our beans in there. Let's get some water on them and rinse them off a little bit. Just to be safe. Woo wee. Mm -mm -mm. They're looking pretty good. Stir them up a little here. See what might be wanting to move around in there. You never know. You don't want any dirt in your food. Ooh, look at that. Pour that off of there. A few too many. I print them off, put them back. Print a couple more off, put them back. Some more over there, yeah. We gotta print them off, put them back. All right, a little more water. Get them all rinsed off, nice and good there. Ooh wee, that's gonna be good. Some good eating right there. Uh huh. Let me tell you. Uh-huh. Good eating. Ooh, wait. Make sure they're all thawed out nice and good there. See if you see anybody you want to remove. I want to remove that one too right there for sure. And maybe that one. Maybe that one. Let's see. They seem to be looking pretty good. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. All right, one more time. Let's speed this up. Nope, that's another one. We don't want those, but it's got some browns on them. They might not be so good. All right, let's pour that water off of there. Get the water back going here. I lost a 
couple more. Let's see. They all seem to be looking good in there. Okay. Let's get some water in the mouth with some real cook eyes. That's a lot of beans right there. I'm actually going to probably cook them about four hours. At least. Another bean. Oh, yeah, we didn't want this one either, did we? Okay, and then last night we had a ham. So, I got the leftovers right here. Let's rinse it off a little bit to get some of the fat off of it. But not all of it. Uh, let's put this ham all up in here. Like that right there. Mm-hmm. That's going to be some good eating right there. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you. <laughs> Move that around a little bit. Get the ham all scattered out. Go ahead and put a little soap in this thing to get the... Get it soaked in there a little bit. It'll be easier to get the fat out of it. And then let's come back over here, right here, to our butter, salted butter. I wish I had more, but I don't. Darn it. I should have sold Scrappy to get butter at the store. She went to the store. She said, do we need anything? I said, no, but I'd be wrong because looks like we needed some butter. All right, let's get over here and put this here butter in the refrigerator come back over here get this on the, on the back burner turn it on get it up to a boil and then we'll turn it down and let it simmer for about three or four hours that's gonna be good that's yummy I'll still have some of them tomorrow that's why I went ahead and made the two bags uh-huh Alrighty, well, let's forget about that and let it boil. Okay, now, while that's starting to get hot, I like to bring it to a boil and then turn it down and let it simmer. I uh, seen on some program one time that beans can be deadly. So I always like to let, at least let them boil for a minute to eliminate some of that deadly chances. All right, let's start seeing what we're gonna find here. There you go, where'd you go? You go long screw. <laughs> Older things usually have more and better screws off in pipeline. Let's get some screws off of this here cabinet so we can see what's really down there. I don't think there's a whole lot of greatness in metal scrap in this. I mean, it's just as well off to to have uh, throw this in the quick scrap pile all like it is. Let's see if we can figure out how to get it apart, first of all. Because I have no idea exactly what to take off of here first to get the case off. I didn't even really look at it, pay no attention. I just set it down here. Started taking screws off of it, which is probably not the best way. How about that? Look at that knob just pop right out of there. That answers that. This back seems to be kind of have like latches or hinges. Not sure. So it hinges back there, then it must lift up from here in the front. And you see? Like so, there, look at that. Wow. That's a little computer board there that I did not expect to see on this guy. Alright. We need some styrofoam. There's some nice styrofoam. Well, it's going to break all up anyhow. So I guess it's not so nice. Let's set this over here. Ready to go out to the plastic bit in the bottom. Okay. Let's see here. We got unplugged there. 
Got to unplug there. It's like little flat things that you push. It feels like it's all smooth action. Buttons underneath it, I'm sure. Look, a little board. With four screws in here to take out. I hear my beans over here behind me doing some popping. Guess the pot's getting hot and popping and snapping and jumping. In one of my other videos, you may have seen this pot. I alluded to that earlier because it was actually a nice pot with a aluminum pot with a lid that I picked up scrapping. Um, but there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. So I had to come home and get a couple baths and then now it's been added to my collection. All right, this looks like number four here on this little pad. And it's, I don't know if it's gonna, yeah. Made in Japan. See it? Yeah. The little things that made the lights and look, it's, they're actual buttons underneath actual push buttons. You have the illusion of this staying without buttons, <laughs> then it's really buttons. And it's also odd because this, it's just a normal little thing with the buttons and there's not a whole lot to it there. But the band coming into it to plug into it is silver. That's strange. I thought it was gold. I thought it was a gold uh, normally when you see this blue on the back, it's either just gold here or gold wire all the way through. But this one's silver. Something new every day. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. So this basically, like I said, it's just plastic. There's nothing good to be had here. for my propensity to save some types of labels. Look, yep. Oh, it broke. Darn it. I was going to save that label. I could probably put it back together, but nah, I'm not worried about it. The red label maybe would come off of there. Anyhow, anybody want to know, it says Raven Hush Series RP-9105. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I think it's on the other piece. I still haven't noticed a date on it yet. Manufacture date. Someone had already cut the power cord off of it before I got to it, which is not unusual. Almost everything you see, people come along and just cut the power cord off and leave the rest. They either don't have a way to carry it, or are they just interested in that quick copper? You know, just collect enough copper cords off of stuff instead of doing all this part. Just cash that in real quick. And there's your beer money. And that's what often is happening. So you're just looking for the beer money. You're just looking for the beer. Beer good. Come on now. All right, get that out of there. Okay, got this side loose. Is there much over here on this side? Huh. Okay. Huh. I can't recall having taken one of these apart like this one before. So I'm a little bit perplexed as I go along on what's gonna be next. Now I see all these different wires. This what's next. I have my magnet get left over there. So we set that part there. We'll, we'll set this part here. Oop, are our beans boiling yet? Not quite. Come on guys, get up to the boil. I'm not gonna count you down. Alright, let's look in here. Let's see. Pull this wire off. That's silver. Silver. See the silver there and on this end. 
silver and gold, silver and gold. But you know, silver is not worth a big dollar like gold. Darn it. All right, let's take this one out. Ugh. That one don't want to cooperate. There you go. It was in there tight. So, color connector. Okay. The wire there. That one out of there. I'm hearing voices. And my daughter's out there giving the neighbors hell. All right, let's pause for a minute and see about this.